you know, not every project goes the way you think it's gonna go. In this uh, video here, we thought we was gonna build a raised bed so we'd have more storage in the bedroom and a better place for the dogs to sleep. But in the end, when we was done with the project, it ended up looking like just a big kid's bunk bed thing and it was just kind of goofy. We had to sleep in it that night and I ended up building a rail on the side because I was afraid Shannon was gonna fall out and break her arm or something. So the next day I cut the legs off and we made it a little bit smaller to, uh, just so we have some storage underneath of it. But anyway, on this video, see, when things don't go quite how you planned. Thanks for watching. We need to about pull that thing out. Hold it at the bottom there. Get right up against there. Alright. So we're needing to be. You pulling up? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 60 inches, you said? That's you know, what it's. Alright, right there is one mark for that. And we're going. You probably don't need to measure this one because we just have to hold it to level. Yeah, I suppose. I don't know if the camera shows it. It's quite dark in here, even I drop you down being during the day. Right oh. out there. Hopefully, we can figure out some electric situation here at some point. Yeah. Some solar. Or we're just living like it's in the early 1800s. Yeah, pretty much. But I've got something on the way. We're going to see if it works. There we go. Got to be authentic. Homesteaders, all you people with your fancy electricity. <laughs> <laughs> That's not authentic. <laughs> I should have drilled those. All right, well, that's, a little bit. Just a little nah, bit. Nah, it'll be fine. It's not too bad. Yeah. So the bed frame will set on top of this here. And there'll be braces in between it. And then we'll get up there and I'll jump around. And if it collapses, then we'll go back to we'll the drawing We'll have to redo board. it. <laughs> here, it'll be setting on this. <laughs> okay. The, front, the, the head of the bed will rest on that. Okay. And then we'll have to pull this apart a little bit when we get the, the wall together. Right now we gotta get up above the dogs. They just go drive you crazy, wake you up too early. <clears throat> In our last house we had a massive master suite and uh, there was plenty of room for them there. Here with a 10 by 10? Is yeah, this, this is by a 10, 10 by 10. 10. <laughs> with our, uh, cause we used to have an, a king bed where I've got a queen right now. And with the queen in here and the four dogs, it's, well, the old house, Cozy. our bedroom was almost the size of the entire house, this yeah. house. So this is a bit of a change, yeah. but. All right. That looks pretty good there. Yeah, it does. I don't know how clumsy you people are, but I put my pants on this morning and this is not the first time I've done this, but these things, these car hearts have these little uh, button things and they stick on the inside a little bit too and I caught my toenail big toenail on that when I put it on this morning I swear I felt like I ripped my toenail off oh my and, it's, and it's not the first time that that's happened does uh, anybody else have something like that happen or am I just a klutz it's probably just me being a klutz you know what we didn't think about mm. What? We're doing this for the frame, uh -huh. but the bed sticks out over top the frame. Yep. <laughs> so I guess when we go to make our side rails, we're gonna have to put the mattress on before we put yeah, the side rails on, and which kind is of fine. figure it out from there. Yeah, which is fine because we don't. This one here. Yeah. Is... Yeah. Yours will just. Yours won't stick over. It'll have to be sticking over on my side. Dang it. That's more of those things that we're not taking into consideration. Yeah. All right, so this is the end one yeah. down here. Somewhere in there. Somewhere in there. That guy's gonna want to fall on you. Put the crown down actually because the frame's gonna be sitting out and humping up. Move, Kaiser. Oh, so it's got to move down quite a bit. And out. And out. But I guess I need to measure out from the wall and see where we're at. Okay. And then, well, I guess we need to 
Is this going to go all the way to the end on this one? Or we don't know that yet. No, um, it can't. No, I don't know. I'm not sure on that. I've got to figure out where we're... We are... Would we, would we figure we were off of the wall? An inch and a half. No, I mean... Uh, 59 and a half. 59 and a half. Yeah. Sorry. To the outside. To, edge of, to no. the outside? Or oh, to the outside over okay, here. Okay, you're 50, pointing to the inside. Yeah, 59 over. and a half. So... This one's all bowed too, for crying out loud. Oh, oh well. It is what it is. From the inside you measure? No. Shoot! Oh my you're, goodness. You're killing me here. Yes, I'm sure it was. I, no, we, we changed you? the measurements for oh. the other thing, remember? Killing me small. Yep, I, I think I think we screwed it up. 59 and... Yeah, it's roughly 59 and a half. So... Okay. To the outside. Yeah, to the outside. Oh, okay. It's just a fuzz more. Fifty-nine. I'm gonna get the level on it too. All right. You gonna hold it? I'm sure, where the level took off to? Oh, it's behind you guys. I may have to move this in just to fuzz together. Where do you want it up? Right. Uh, on the post. I want to see how. I'm doing Actually, on the side of this. street. Go see if we can get it to fit. All right, so we just said come over here and hold this. All right, did it fit? Yep. Yep, looks like it. Oh no, it didn't. It didn't. Oh no, this thing moved. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> thing around yeah. accordingly. I can see how level are or not. Yeah, it's not moving. Oh, there. Does not look good that way. I kick the bottom in. Oh. We're off our mark anyway. Yeah. Oop. I have to do some more. <laughs> Over there, the way. Yeah. Oh, let him see how this is yeah. hopefully gonna work. We had to put it upside down though, because he's gonna have to cut those so legs off. See if we're gonna fit, and we don't. We don't. <laughs> Why? What happened? Is, oh, what happened? Oh, you know why? Because you said we had three inches at the end, oh, yeah, and these I are only I an inch and a half. To cut them off. Is what Shoot. I yeah, we needed to hold that in. Yep, because I this has got to be well, all the way. So, crud. Um, so what do we got to do now? Well, I, I'm building on this anyway. I think I'm gonna add another two by over here because I'm gonna be building. Yeah. Off for the steps, and we're gonna need this anyway. So I'll put another two by over here on the inside yep, of it. And okay. That fix that. All right. Well, that's much easier than cutting everything off yeah, and redoing I needed, everything. I needed another lift to build off. Of, so. Thank goodness. That was 56 and 3 eighths. Yeah. You have to climb up to it. Well, make oh. it just step coming up. Yeah. I see. Oh, yeah. You know, to a little landing up here. Run them up. A little yeah. Landing, a little well, we got to watch the window too. Yeah, we don't want, but it doesn't. The landing doesn't have to be really no. high. So we could just get steps up to here and somewhere up there. Yeah, and then step one more up, step. You know, to the yeah. Sideways there. Yeah. Something like that. I don't know, but I got to get away from these dogs. Yeah. <laughs> they keep putting their nose in my face because this bed's way too low. Oh, oh, oh. Yep. That's my Zoom meeting for nursing staff all yeah. right well i'm gonna leave you with craig you guys are gonna have to figure this out yeah, on your own we're gonna get very little done because there's no one to hold it so if you guys can get here like in like 15 minutes that'd be great
cut these braces off, there's no going back. Nothing to sleep on tonight. Kind of see what we got going on up there. And I got a big 2x10 I'm going to put on here. It's going to come up a little bit. And then I'm going to kind of, uh, we'll probably put some, some kind of rough cut over top of it just to make it look nicer. And then I'm going to put some pieces coming up here so it kind of looks like it's timber frame so it doesn't look as uh, hokey. And then, uh, like I said, I'll probably have to take this loose when I do the uh, walls. We'll just pull it loose from the wall and everything and, and put the uh, whatever we're going to put on the walls. easier. And then I've got to I'll just give you a look up there. I got to put a brace. I think I'll put a couple braces, maybe one here. And one over here and hope that that's enough to hold us because I'm not light All right, so it took a little longer than I thought. I had to take end up taking the end legs off because it was raising the end up about that much. So I was making it kind of sag in the middle. So that took some doing. I got those off finally. And then there was a bracket here that held the two feet and it was, the, the nuts were on the inside and it wouldn't fit right. So I had to kind of fabricate something here and run longer bolts through to hold this in together. And then there's gonna be a couple braces like I said, running here in the middle, but that's where we're at. I kind of really need to get the bed in here and see how that's going to work. That's going to be hard to do by myself. All right. Something like that. I'll leave it right about there. I'll measure that and see where we're at. on there and we also do this side looks like 83 my sight's getting bad 5 8 it's hard to see in this low light 83 and 5 8 
remember that for me, 83 and 5 eighths. What was that measurement again? 83 and 5 eighths. Thanks. I'm trying to make a little ledge there and support it and then there'll be some steps coming down here I haven't decided exactly how I'm going to do that just yet but so far there's our raised or lofted bed there'll be room down here for the dog beds and I'll have a dresser probably over here in this corner or something it's just quite a mess right now but so a little bit more to do on it kind of hard to see but I've added another leg back there and I'm offset, I made a little lip up here, that way I can set a brace for this little uh, step seat type of thing. I know, now my board's too short here. I don't know, do you want to say something? It's already going. So we just thought we would make a raised bed, which I discussed earlier. I thought this would be a kind of a neat idea to get us up off the floor. More storage, more room for the dogs. Uh, if the roof was higher, I could have done like a loft and put our bed up, which I think would have looked better. This ended up turning out looking like some kid's bunk bed, and it's you know, not every idea that we have works. And this is one of our failed projects, so ta-da. <laughs> the dogs love it. Yeah, it's, but... uh, we slept in it last night, and it's like super stupid. Maybe you... uh, yeah, I, I made a little ledge, and, and we had to have a ladder to get up last night. I was going to build steps in this area, but in the end, this is not going to work, so... We're still going to show it to you guys because, you know, you have to have uh, failures to have successes. So we're going to cut the legs down. I'm going to take, I took, put the rail on last night because I figured Shannon might roll off <clears throat> because she's six years old. <laughs> so we're going to take that off. We're going to take this off. We're going to cut the legs down. We're going to make it a little bit higher here so we can still put some storage totes underneath of it. But uh, yeah, the uh, bunk bed, elevated bed just didn't didn't translate out of my head properly yeah. so fail. oh well yeah so <laughs> fail <laughs> oh well maybe we'll have better success on the next project all right so we cut down the um lofted bed and put in this here it's about 24 inches so it's tall enough where we can get all of a bunch of tubs and stuff underneath it for storage um the dogs can't quite get to me as much as they could. We won't get the tails in the face. <laughs> yeah, anymore. we won't get the tail in the face in the morning, so that's that's good enough. All right, well, we got the bed all finished. Got some lights hung up. 
they're solar lights, so hopefully they'll last a little while in the evenings. But that should keep the dogs up out of our face. 